If you want to be efficient and become a strong Excel user, you have to learn how to use Excel's functions. This course contains a whole chapter dedicated to functions, both basic and advanced. In this video, we will lay out the foundation which will facilitate our future work. Let's see how to insert a function in one of the cells of this sheet. First of all, we have to select the cell where we want to insert the function. And then there are a few different ways in which we can add the desired function. For example, we can type equal and then type directly the function's name if we happen to know it. If that's not the case, we can search for the function that we need by clicking on this button here. The window that opened contained all Excel functions divided into categories. The purpose of each function is described at the bottom of the window. We can either search for a specific keyword or scroll down and find the function that we need manually. I will be looking for the IF function. OK, here it is. Let's select it. Once we have found the function, we can double click on it and a new window pops up. This is where we need to type the function's arguments. We can click on each of them and read the description that is provided just below. Then we have to select the arguments of the function. Typically, these are references to other cells within the spreadsheet. In our example, the IF function has three arguments. The first one is the logical test, which is the condition that we want to verify. The second one is the value that will be displayed if the result of the logical test is positive. That is, if the criterion is satisfied. And the third argument of the IF function is the value that will be displayed if the result of the logical test is negative. Let's provide an example. I want the function to test whether the value in C9 is bigger than the value in D9. This is the first argument, the logical test. Let's type in the second argument, which is the value that will be displayed if the C9 is bigger than D9. I want to obtain bigger if that's the case. Then, as a third argument, I will select the value to be displayed if the result of the logical test is negative. In this case, we will have smaller. Finally, after we have selected the arguments of the function, we can press Enter and obtain the end result. Let's see the result of the function. Given that C9 is not bigger than D9, our formula displays smaller, which is correct. To be honest with you, experienced users rarely open the dialog box menu like we did. Much more frequently, they type a function's name directly in the formula bar and work directly from there. I'm sure that after completing this course, you will be doing that too.